And she wouldn't do it. I tried. (laughs) Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Guess who? (laughs) We're a happy crowd. No, I got mad this morning. Yeah, you did. I got real mad. When she gets mad, she gets real mad. Yeah, it was real bad. She's, you slammed something on the counter. Was I know. your hand? I don't remember doing it, but Marcia said, I thought the glass was going to break. This, I wasn't up there. I we was have this credit card through a warehouse company that I won't even name. There's only two, so you can <laughs> guess. And they use this bank. And every time we do auto pay on one of our vendors, it shuts it down and it gets a fraud alert. Well, every week. Every time. And I've talked to them. Well, in order to be able to talk to them, they have to send you a link and you have to make a five <laughs> second video of your face and you have to take a picture of your driver's license front and back before they will talk to you. <laughs> and it's just not really one of my favorite things. I have her on video <laughs> once doing it over here. I'll have to post that. Yeah, for fun. <laughs> I'll post that in the group. Right. So it's, private. <laughs> it's like, can she just not make me mad on Wednesday? This is my happy day. Well, every day's a happy day. Hey, everybody. Day. Every day's. Let's be dignified. There's Allie. Oh, Allie. Allie, I got to send you pictures. So on Sunday, we made Zusha's apple cake. And my friend Tina took pictures of me pouring the batter in the pan and standing with the batter just to send to you. And then the finished product. So, Well, I had some of the finished product. It was really good. Yeah, it's a great cake. So thank you for the recipe. Hi, everybody. We've got Pennsylvania, Florida. Oh my goodness, Connecticut, all over the place. I Is anybody if, else tired? Did anybody stay up really late last night? Well, I got up at 3.30. I woke up like every hour and I had to check my phone because we're not <laughs> going to get into politics today, but that election was stressing me out. Well, I it's was not stress done. Eating. <laughs> I was stress eating, let me tell you what. I turned it on a little bit, but hi, Maryland, Minnesota. <sighs> Malta. Houston, South Carolina. Ooh, ever. Toronto, everybody's here today. Everybody is here. I hope everybody had a good week. Well, I hope everybody's ready because we got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, we're going. Will okay. Um, LA has a question. Will the eyelash serum work on eyebrows? They make a separate one. Yeah, they make a separate one. I don't know. It seems like the technology would work on hair growth but i've heard people use it on both yeah i think maybe they make a separate one this is just me sometimes to get you to buy both which who's the sucker that did right here right here (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but this is i just did this this morning you have to if it if anything says it will make you pretty or thin i will buy it we both we both will buy it and so and i am not thin not thin or pretty but Yes, you're pretty. We'll try anything. Anything. I have tried it all. Even if it has that little, you know, I this is awful. I'd probably try Fin Fin again if it were to come back on the market. <laughs> oh, I love some Fin Fin. I never back in the it. I was too young. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't she take it. I was. She was. Okay. Hi, Sharon Kay from Ecuador. I'm almost out of my eyelash serum. I need to get some more. So I did put my eyebrow on my eyes this morning. The only thing I noticed was the brush was bigger. You put the eyebrow serum on your eyelashes? I sure did. I ain't afraid of nothing. I am fearless like that. Misty, have you figured out where you can buy the eyelash serum? Here. (laughs) But I didn't have it at my house this morning. And I went to put it on. And one eye felt wet and the other one didn't. So I'm like, oh, I must be out. So I was like all trying to shake it. And I was like, oh, forget it. I'll just grab the the brow one, the Lee brow. Hi, Lena from Germany. Hi, Cindy from Boston. Uh, people say we talk too much. Not today, but we get comments all the time and emails. That yeah, we they'll talk say, too much. <laughs> if y'all can just stop talking, we're like, it's called um, Wig Talk Wednesday. So we talk, but in the videos, we don't talk. I mean, we talk, but not like useless, chatter, senseless babble. chatter. Patty says she was so excited this morning when her Alexa reminded her that it was that <laughs> time. Bless your heart. Good old sweet. Alexa. Okay, this lady called this week and. I mean, I think people are surprised when we answer the phone, which I don't know why, because we, we do have to work. We like I have, have jobs to work to and... get a paycheck, okay? Yeah, we both do. So I answered the phone, and she's like, who am I speaking with? And I'm like, this is Misty. And she's like, well, where's your accent? And I'm like, well, you didn't give me a chance. All I said was Mimi's <laughs> Big Booty. <laughs> but I can kick it in real fast. Oh, so bless her heart. She was real sweet. We had a good chat. All right, we've got a lot to cover. We're going to do 100% fully hand-tied wigs um, from... Three, various. three different companies. Uh, and so 
just to show you these are the things that come fully hand tied and so if you're new to wigs and cap constructions what that means is that every hair in every wig that we're going to show you is individually hand knotted it's a very very labor intensive process and so these are going to be on the higher end these are going to be your most expensive uh, top quality synthetic wigs the inside may look different from company to company but basically this is what it looks like um this is a john renault this is another john renault um that has zero wefting you can see my fingers running through there this one does no which is the company that has some wefting john renault um raquel maybe raquel but these that uh, you can see how thin they are so these are the lowest um density Ooh, louise says way to tech up the video I, i'm responsible for all that <laughs> She's responsible for volunteering me to do it. I voluntold you. You voluntold me, yes. Yeah. Okay. So All right. So I'm going to try to keep up with this and put on top of our heads what we're wearing at the time. So you can see we're both started out with Cameron. I think Kim's might be a large cap. Mine is a large cap. Cameron uh, comes in petite, average, and large cap. Oh, there's the Marianne. Marianne. She's the one. Hi, she Marianne. can hear your accent now. <laughs> Lena says Kim and Misty for president. Well, I'm, I'm with that. I mean, we could do a good job. Mm. Okay. Anyway, large cap, average cap. Um, I 12 know. FS8 or, or shaded praline, which it says at the top. Yeah, I know. Now, if you remember, Misty cuts me a side sweat bang in this. So she's got Cameron um, right out of the box. Nothing's been modified on it. Mine has been uh, textured yeah. a so little you bit. you can see, it just lightens up that spot right there if you want it. My hair's not put up great today. So y'all don't look at this bump on top of my head. But um, it does take it a little bit out of the face on that way. But like she said, mine's straight out of the box. This is not mine. So I have a liner on, and it's a little shiny. So everybody always asks, what do you do to turn down the shine? Dry shampoo. Yeah. The John Renault pick-me-up is the best. It is. And we have tried every professional line out there that they sell within a 25-mile radius. So the John Renault pick-me-up is great. So... Deb Hart. Deb is so funny. She's got so many wigs. She says she's ready to buy a hand tied long one, please. We do show some. We're going to show one. you a long one. Okay. So, number. Oh, shit. I hope I put these in the right order. <laughs> We're going to start with Gabrielle. Gabrielle um, is, as you can see, John Renault. I was responsible for putting together, so I hope. Okay, um, someone asked, are hand-tied wigs always flat with no permatease? There is no permatease. Um, and for the most part, they're generally going to be flatter on your head, and they're going to run a bit on the snug side. So if you have a lot of hair, I have quite a bit of hair under mine. They run a little little bit snug, but um, that ensures that if you don't have any hair, it's just going to literally feel like your scalp up there. Hi, Betsy. Welcome. She says it's the first time watching. All right. So this is Gabrielle. Gabrielle comes in uh, average, which we both have on, but it also comes in petite. It's just like a short little bit of a layered bomb, but it's short in the back. Again, these are straight from the box. So you could, I've done this before, added a little bang in here. It already has one, but if you wanted an all-across bang, this is a regular fiber wig, so you would have no problems reforming the bang. Or you could side sweep it a little bit. Oh, I just tuck behind my ear. Oh, yes. Everybody always says, don't tuck it behind your ear. Not everybody, but a couple people. No, that lady don't. came in the shop the other day, and she's like, when you do that, I'm like screaming at the screen going, don't tuck it behind your ear. But I can't help it. I always do it. Misty, have Kim fix your... Oh, oh. <laughs> thank you, Melissa. All right, you're good. Oh, <gasps> y'all, guess what? Uh -huh. This is off the subject. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting on my new Alva. And oh. if you've been waiting, yeah. we I know we have several people on that Candy Brown. It's coming in this week. Yeah, she Maybe called this week, morning. Huh? Well, she's shipping today, so we'll have it. I'm so excited. I don't know. Everyone Monday? I tried to get, we had to sell it. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yes, the colors are right. No, they're not right. Oh. Did I get your stack, Kim? The colors are right now. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I think we switched stacks. Did you put, give me, I don't know. It you is, have, I have put these wrong. You have Kim, Gabrielle. 
3827S4. I'm not real smart, but I can read. <laughs> and I, I know my I know my colors. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to, you know, blame somebody else. Anyway, no, thank, thank, you, thank you for letting us know because it gets confusing. It does it get is. confusing. Okay, now now we'll switch. All right. Y'all, this is just it ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> Oh, this matches my outfit today. I I just think your makeup looks so pretty. And the colors are perfect with that vest. You just look like fall. You look like you're going to Thanksgiving dinner. Well, I am not. Speaking of, what are we having for lunch? Oh, I'm just kidding. Okay. So this is the Shady Peach. You know, they typically run smaller, and I get a large in my uh, Cameron, but this doesn't feel all that small. No, and the the tabs are coming down pretty low. Yeah. Um, I think they're making them stretchier because when I pull the tabs, they they move. Right. I used to, it's the elastic didn't stretch as much, so this this is good. Oh, we forgot to tell them what if y'all know about the sale. Oh yeah, if you are, we're gonna tell you this time because I put it on YouTube too. But there's a sale, and it was supposed to end at noon today because it was just for the election. But since we don't know the outcome, and technically it's still going on, we're going to extend the sale. Yeah. So it'll go till midnight tonight. And the coupon code is VOTE2020. And you've got to put the coupon code in the coupon code box. Um, it will work. Uh, if you don't do that, we will honor 20%, but it's going to come out in a store credit. So we can't really go back and change what you've already did. Yes. Done, so what you've please already put done. your coupon code in and um, vote 2020. And it'll take 20% off your total order. That doesn't include the sale wigs, though. If they're already on sale, they're already at the lowest uh, lowest price we can offer. All right. So it doesn't include those. Okay. Let's keep okay. that one because. Uh, I, wonder, I wonder if this one's right. No. <laughs> oh all right let's see now we're doing christy this is another john renault as you can see this is a good like classic bob oh and this one that does fit small this one is shorter than cameron yes but a similar style i don't know if i can get this one on my head hi mitzi we can see your comments welcome okay this is really really tight yeah it is I would never be able to wear it. And this. this only comes in one cap size. This is the 832, which is like a gingery brown. And y'all, if you're looking at this, that's my liner. So that would not, you wouldn't be able to see that. But see, that's just my liner. And you wouldn't wear that if you were buying this. So this is 30, 39F38. So it's a pretty gray. I like the 832. I do too. So, this is kind of, like you said, a little bit shorter version of Cameron. Look how different yours looks on mine. Mm hmm All right. Let's see. Liz says she has uh, Christy and Julianne, and she loves them. Is there a density difference between Christy and Cameron? I almost think the Christy maybe is a little bit thicker. Mm-hmm. Uh, and true. part of it has to do with the layering. So... Cameron has some like oh wow this one's smaller than that one yeah it's tight and I loosened it all the way yeah and I think that it the main difference is it's I don't know it's just different so 39 f38 this is just like a smoky brown gray and this would be my well i'm gray now mm -hmm. but this would be my natural color this is what my in fact some people came in that i hadn't seen since probably high school yesterday and she's like i can't recognize him like yeah i had dark hair my whole life <laughs> <laughs> you had dark hair when i met you mm -hmm. for a probably two two years yeah after i met you then i just went blonde all right all right christy now we are going to the julianne 
No. Yeah. How did this happen? I don't I wonder know. who it was. <laughs> Me? Well, I don't know. Well, no, it was. I gave you the list. Okay. This is one runs small as well. Oh my goodness. And so I'm... this seems like a lot of hair. It is a lot of hair. Even though it's 100% hand tied, it's still a lot of hair. And of course, we don't pick these curls or do anything to them unless we own them. And these are not our our personal wigs. So it's coming out of the box more ringlety. But if you were to shake this out, it'd be really pretty. Someone's asking if Raquel Welch makes a color, if does John Renault make a color close to shaded wheat? Raquel Welch shaded wheat. Would that be 1426 S10? That's going to have more, that that more warmth. But I think it would be closer just to their uh, 12 FSA. I think I look like Tiny Tim. <laughs> you do not look like, well, I look like an old version of Tiny Tim then. This gray here. No, the, the Julianne's really pretty. I think if you were to get it and really work with getting the top of this down a little bit and, and getting it the curl separated, it would look like a longer version of January. Ah. But since we don't wear it and we don't do anything with it. I it's... hope nobody's getting a prescription at Tom Thumb and Frisco. I know. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome back. They, they hear us, they're going to need drugs. <laughs> they probably do. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, switch out. Mm. Do you know what I did? I just realized I put these in order of me being on the left and not with the way the camera is. Well, it gets very confusing. <laughs> it does. This one feels looser. I like I I have a wig in this color. I love it. <laughs> Colleen says she thought that she was the only one that thought I looked like Tiny Tim. And and you just verified it? She Yeah, she thought that no one would know what she's talking about. I know about Tiny Tim. Liz says she's, since she said she has the Julianne, she had to work a lot with it to get it, you know, to where she liked it. But, you know, that's the thing about these. I think everything, with the exception of one we're showing you today, is regular fiber. So they're easier to work with if they're regular fiber and not heat-defiant fiber, because then you can kind of reform things if they're heat defiant it's really hard to do that michelle there are some that come there she's asking about hand tied caps that come in large cap cameron does i don't know of any i mean they make some with the monofilament and the lace but the fully hand tied um i think it's cameron i think that's about it yeah i think that is about it okay I even Whoever was time. asking about shaded wheat, this is going to... Wait. No, I think it's the 12 FS8 is the closer one to shaded wheat. Okay. That was done right. <laughs> you think 12 FS8 is closer? Yeah, the shadow shade golden wheat. Because okay. it's just the 1488 Okay. Now, if you're talking real life fiber, that's different. But if you're talking just shadow uh, shade gold, okay, green. I must I re I misread that. I'm sorry. Yes, oh. uh, Yvonne wants to know if you can buy our wigs on in the UK. Yes, we are set up for that. You may have to if your country code isn't set up for shipping. You may have to just email me your um, address, and I'll get everything set up and get you an estimated charge on what it's going to cost. So if you need to do that, I just set one up for Scotland this morning. She's going to be our first one to Scotland. We did the Netherlands last week, mm -hmm. Belgium last week. We've done Australia, but if if it for some reason says they can't be shipped, then just email me at um. You can go through the website and send a message, and it'll go straight to me. I'll get it all added and let you know when you can when you can do it. So some people don't like lace; they want fully hand tied, but the lace uh, they find irritating right at their hairline. This is Alexis by John Renault. It's fully hand tied with no lace. Mm -hmm. So um, if that makes it more comfortable for you, this would be an option for you. This uh, one this, matches my outfit too. It does. Um. Does not come in any other cap size but average. This feels pretty true mm -hmm. to size for a hand tied cap. It's a little bit small, but um, actually the ear tabs come down pretty far. So if it's comfortable, I, I think this is a really pretty wig. <clears throat> it 
Ooh, this one feels bigger than that one. Yeah, it did. Certainly did. I wonder if they're making their cap sizes different or if that's just, you know, they always are different. And, and we always tell people they allow for up to a 10% variance in pretty well all aspects of the wig. <laughs> so it could be that it just runs a little bit bigger. Oh, we didn't show the back. Nice. Um, not really beachy waves. This is more of a, a styled kind of hot roll curl. Yeah. I like this wig. I do too. I do too. All right. What's next? Now we're going to something short. This is ready for takeoff. Okay. I'll take that. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing this. This is the only one that we're showing that is heat defiant. So uh, that means that you can open the oven door and not uh, burn your wig. But it also means that it pretty well is what it is. And the fibers tend to break down a little bit faster. Well, but if you got a screaming hot 500 degree oven, you're still going to burn up a heat defiant wig. Or your eyelashes. Yeah, I've done that before. This one runs small. Oh, oh, yeah, it does. Um, Sunny, if you want prices, you can go to our website, shopmimisdallas.com, and you can look at all the colors and styles and prices and all that good stuff. I forget about this wig until I put it on someone's head, and then it's just a really pretty wig. It is pretty. Your neckline looks longer than mine. So just it's it's Raquel has really great lace anyway, but this new color, look at that. You can't even I see my brown color. hair. You, I mean you can't see my hairline or anything to it. It's just Well, and even when they do the dark roots, Raquel also puts light pieces here so it blends better with your hairline and it really looks like your hairline. Um cute. Yeah, cute. I like this wing. Isn't it just like longer than you? Well, we're going to find out because we're going to sweep. All right. Aside from Noriko, Renee, Paris, and Amore, what other companies have smaller wigs? Um, I need a hand tied. Aesthetic is stretchier. Petite. Yeah. Um, nobody really runs, uh, universally, nobody really runs as small as Renee, Paris, Noriko, and Amore. Yeah, and a lot of the newer Renee Paris's, though. I think it's just my big old head because this feels the same as the other one. It just looked longer on you. That one looks longer on you, too. This is one of those wigs you just want to, when they're short like this, you just want to keep playing with it. But this is a really pretty wig. I'm not sure when they put this one out, though. Do you remember? <laughs> when you eventually get to be an old lady, like 100 years from now. <gasps> oh. She All says, right. I wear gray pretty. You do wear gray pretty. Well, I am fast and I'm reaching gray. I did put a little bit of a <laughs> temporary color on my hair the other day in the show. At first, she started plucking the grays. I'm like, girl, just don't do that. I did. I used to sit and, well, when my niece was younger, uh, I would like have her sit and she would pull my grays out for me. I can't do that anymore. No. Okay. Voltage Elite. What you oh brush. I'm gonna do this in the bright red glazed fire. This is one of the ones that I was telling you that it is fully hand tied, but down here in the very bottom portion, it has the hair sewn in and wefts. So I don't really know what the purpose of that is, but it's there. Woo! Talk about bright. Talk about pumpkin oh but you know this color just on the right person is so pretty it is, it is. you know who i'm talking about too miss brenda i know she's a client that's been coming in here for years and she's worn this color and, and it it just it looks good on her yeah it does brenda said her mom had her the kids pull out her gray hair gray hairs for money 
Wow. I, I used to, my little niece, bless her heart, you can give her a dollar and she'd do just about anything. She'd give me like a 30 minute foot massage, <laughs> you know, pull out my gray hairs and, you know, put lotion on my hands, give me a manicure. I mean, she was pretty good. She's more expensive now. Uh, I can't afford her. <laughs> She thinks that she grew up and had kids of her own. She ain't got time for her little auntie. So this um, this is Voltage Elite. It, they also make Voltage in a machine-made cap, which is going to have the uh, permatease and the wefts. Yes. Lori, we do do virtual consultations. I'm doing one this afternoon. And we have one tomorrow. And we have one tomorrow. We're very limited for space on those, though. So if you want to schedule one, you have to let us know pretty yeah. well, pretty fast in advance. All right, Voltaire. Voltage, I'm just kidding. This one's bigger than that one. It's because my oh big old my. head stretched it out. Uh, Lori, what you need to do is send us an email. We are, we're going to want um, to know exactly what you're trying to accomplish. So if there's certain styles that you want to see, we can get those put together. The, the consultations are an hour. So if you want, to, if there's something you're trying to accomplish, and I'm sure there is, we need to know what that is. We need to know what colors and styles you're interested in. We'll have all that ready to go. And then we'll um, we'll find a time that we can both do it. And we'll get online and talk and visit and become friends. Okay, somebody asked what brush we're using. These This has been through a lot of sanitizer. <laughs> so this is normally black. But these are just my favorite brushes. They're just the... Uh, Renee Paris wig brushes. So we've tried different brands. The Renee Paris one, I've never had one tear up on me. No. We used to carry a brand and this part would lift up, but I'm telling you, and I used the fire. The fire out of these. <laughs> but yeah, this is just the wooden um, pin brushes that are on our website. Six bucks, I think. So. Um, a lady came in and bought this, and she always, she was like, I, I just, it starts to just look so flat on me. And I always say, if you have a short wig like this and you want to get this kicky look, don't be afraid to defy gravity. Put your hands in it and work up with it because then you get that that kickiness out of it and it'll stay that way a little bit longer. And because the more you let it come down, the more gravity is going to do its thing, just like it does on our face and our body. It's going to do the same thing to your mm -hmm. wig. So always make sure you're, you know, working it up. Um, I don't know her name. I don't, like love these automatic says that glaze fire makes me think of the one lady at every church that shakes the tambourine like her life depends on it. <laughs> oh, right. my goodness. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, we had a tambourine player growing up. Anyway, she didn't play that. She didn't have red hair. But I was walking through our church the other day, and there was this tambourine. It was like this big. It was the cutest thing I ever saw. Did you put your glaze fire on and start shaking it? No. <laughs> but if I had it, had it I would have. It was just so cute. <laughs> Okay. okay we're in there all right now celebrity nope no nope. oh this one's right i don't know how that works all right kim you have this wig would we consider posting a virtual consultation so we can you know it's for one thing it's kind of private um it's a time that is for that person we don't film them. Um, I don't know how we would do that either. Yeah, you know. We we. I'm sure I could figure it out, but. Back to the celebrity. <laughs> this is 100 percent hand tied. This was this was your first curly wig. It was. It's. I always think this this wig in this color is so pretty. I got um, the one I have is in shaded cappuccino. Mm-hmm. Isn't that pretty? I mean, aside from the liner, which that's just, y'all know, is there for hygienic. We don't wear these all the time. It's just because these are not our personal wigs. But that would just blend so perfect with your hairline. And I'm, the bang is so pretty. This is the perfect wig if you've got a wedding or you've got an event, um, you know, holiday parties, whatever. That's a great wig for that. I love it. Because it's a little dressier. I love it. Let's switch. Okay. Boy, I tell you what, my head's getting the workout from all these little tiny wigs no on my kidding. big head. All right, let's switch this out. We didn't show the back. 
This one's hanging so different. You know, I think I've washed mine like once. Because, I mean, I rotate a lot. These curls have stayed mm -hmm. in. They, I mean, they really stayed in this particular style for me. Yes, yeah, somebody says that we've already done a couple of videos in your library. We we have, but when you do a virtual, that's live. So um, these that we have are ladies that we, you know, they contacted us and we scheduled it pretty far in advance and they came to our shop. Doing a virtual, I don't even know how we would work that. I'm sh I'm sure there's a function on Zoom where you can I'm sure there video is. it. Because, I mean, co companies use that kind of stuff for education meetings and stuff. Mm -hmm. you you got to be able to film mm -hmm. it. So, so. Celebrity. Yeah, baby steps around here. Baby steps. <laughs> yes, definitely baby steps. Okay. okay, somebody wanted long. There is no dumb question. Um, if you have monotop, can you wear a wig grip or will it show? It will not show. Yeah, you unless right you, yeah, if you, write, if you have the right color, it won't show. If you have the wrong color, it will. Yeah, we're switched companies. Tony of Beverly. We've done these wigs before. They These are two of their prettiest wigs. Deb Cotton says Zoom can record. I figured it had to be. Zoom what? Can record. Oh. I figured it had to, you know. I just understand how those <laughs> things work. <laughs> well, since we have... So, oh, my goodness. Every time we do these wigs, I just love the Tony of Beverly. I love the way... The they... density on this is so low. Yeah, and their cap, their hand tie cap is really comfortable. It is nice and stretchy. Doesn't have... I mean, it's just... It feels so good. Well, and yours looks like it has more volume than mine, but, I mean, it really compresses nice. So if you want something that doesn't have a whole lot of hair, doesn't have a lot of bulk to it, then this is a great And one. I wish they made more... I mean, styles that have this kind of side swept bang because so many times they do lace fronts, but they don't. That's for people who don't want to have a bang at all. And then if you start cutting in, it, it just is weird. But this, this is perfect. I wish my hair were like this. Oh, she, my hair's never been this long in my entire life. Oh, mine either. I've never had long hair. You look like a Harlequin, like a Harlequin romance, you know, when they put the. Blonde girls on the books and in the all beautiful. Well, well right. she ain't got this body. I guarantee that. But this she got those, she ain't she ever got, seen. <laughs> she got those big, pretty blue eyes, <laughs> and she's just so pretty. And she's with the Scottish man that has his kilt on, and he's like holding her from behind. Is that what you're talking about? Those novels. My grandmother. I, I don't read those kind of. I don't either. But my grandmother read Harlequin Romance, and when I was a little girl, if I like picked one up, she would just have. She'd be like, oh. No, don't you. No, you can't. <laughs> and now as an adult, if I were to read one, I'm like, that is so crazy. She thought they were so racy. Well, back then they were. <laughs> All right. So Bennett. I'm All right, Melanie. Beverly. Um, Yeah, the, more under lights and the blondes look really shiny. And so um, we use dry shampoo to calm that down. I use it all the time. Yes. And generally after the first or second washing, you don't have to do it anymore. But yeah, these these lights, this light that we use is really bright. God, this I mean, is stretchy. Yeah, you can't. I mean, you can't see. Oh, let me change my dark hair either. Mm -mm. Do we show the back? I don't know. I was too worried about the bang. I can. So I don't know what the inch the inches are on this, but it's it's I it's it's pretty long. Um, I'd say fifteen. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Molly's a former librarian. She says never apologize for your reading taste. I Thank love you. to read, but you know I don't really have time anymore. So what I do living in Dallas, I drive like fifty minutes one way to, to work. So I'm in the car almost a couple hours a day, depending on traffic. I do audiobooks. It keeps me sane and keeps me from road rage. I'm telling you, sometimes I just want to just like scream at somebody. But if I have me an audiobook going, right now I'm doing John Grisham's latest book, Time for Mercy. I just am so into it. I just want to drive longer. <laughs> Wish I had more time in my car. Well, you can um, drive around the block or something. Oh, I've sat in the parking lot before when I got here just to finish like a chapter or something. It's my office is so good. 
Janet, I or no, um, Kathy, I don't think it, it's quite 18 inches uh, because yeah. I know um, one of our longer ones is 18. I know it's not that long. And they measure from the nape. And so, I mean, I'm guessing, like Kim said, 15, 14, 15 at the most. So that's that's what you would count right there. It's so maybe 12, 14. Okay, we're on our last wig, y'all. This is a bunch. Oh, this one's right. Have had it. <laughs> this is a color that I think gets a bad rap. Because sometimes the colors that have names have, get more attention. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah. That sounds weird. But if somebody can order something called Shaded Praline, it just sounds better than ordering something called 12FS8. Well, this is a color that's called 61312 bt I don't know what that means because 613 generally is, is really yellow. yellow and there's no yellow to this. And I don't know what the BT stands for, but it's just such a pretty blonde color. And it's pretty wig if you just give me a minute. Just now, I've got I've got Bennett and I've got it in Silverstone, which is kind of a gray. It's real um, pretty close to 101 F48T and uh, John Renault. This style has some fresh hair on me. Now, you can see my liner through here, um, but this has pretty face framing. It's a good length. It's just, I think it's a little bit more full than uh, Bennett just because of the layering, but it still, it still compresses. It doesn't look like a lot of hair. Right, and you can get more fullness out of it if you want to. Um, a lady was in this week. She came in from Mississippi. So she, she bought this. Oh, it just looks so beautiful on her. She posted pictures. She sure did. If you, if you want to yeah. see Lisa, yeah, Lisa in the Wig Chicks VIP group, just go in there. And if you haven't joined, it's our private Facebook group. So you can go in there and post whatever you want to post and know that nobody's on <laughs> okay. your Facebook timeline is going to I'm going to have to butt in here. Okay. What? You post nice things things if you post oh, something absolutely. nasty i will take it down and you'll be off the group and your comments gone and there's there i mean it's just quick so and you have to answer the questions there are questions right. you have to answer so if you've tried to join and, and you got declined when you go on there you have to agree to certain things and so once you agree to those then we'll let you in the group but you gotta you be think. nice if you can't i mean bambi's mom said if you can't say anything nice don't say anything if you can't anything i love them i know but seriously this is this is where people are going it's a safe place for people to go and show their picture and get support and so if you can't be supportive just you know and advice troll a lot of people and just don't comment are new to this and so we don't have time to answer every single question so this is the place we've already got a couple thousand women there already yeah so this is the place where you can go and say you know what about this what about that and we may answer it personally you know, before anybody else, if we have time. But if not, there are women in there who have went, worn wigs for decades that have a lot of good experience and advice and mentorship in there. So, yes. yes and someone said that the, the description doesn't match what we've shown today. I haven't had a chance to change it. So, um, yes, I will change it. Um, it is the wig chicks V period, I period, P period on Facebook. Yes. Okay. One more change. One more. What do we got to do? We're going to switch. Oh. My goodness. I feel like we have tried on a lot of wigs today. We have. But some people just, they'll only wear hand tied and that's what they want to see. So. And I, I mean, I'm either or most of my wigs are just machine made because I like more fullness up here. Um, I do have some that are hand tied, but I just. I mean, I have one of every cap construction that they make, and I like each one for different reasons. What I love about the hand tied is because you don't have the wefts, it kind of like hugs your head, and that's that it's compressing, so it looks like less hair, but it's comfortable. Some and people I, think they're cooler, some people think they're hotter. It, you know, it just it's all about you and what's comfortable for you. The other thing is just don't box yourself in. You know, we've had people that are women that will come in and say, oh, I, I got to have a lace front. Well, when we start trying things on, they might leave with two things that aren't lace front because in their mind, they're thinking, and we get this question all the time, what is the best wig? The best wig is what is the best for you, right? It has nothing to do with the way it's made, the price, anything like that. It's what you put on and you look in the mirror and it makes you smile and makes you happy because that's all that matters. Like I said, most of my wigs are on the, the less expensive side. And, you know, I work here. So 
Kim, you know, gives me a discount. <laughs> but, she's got to work for it. But though. the thing is, it just it depends on what your style is. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I like full things, so a lot of mine do have machine made caps. You know, Kim likes things that are a little bit she don't like as messy and as, as stuff as me. So just what works for you? Okay, someone's at Deb is asking what the inside of Bennett look like looks like. Oh, Most of these are going to look pretty much the same. So you've got the hand tied cap here. This is the monofilament top, and this is the lace front here. The lace front is what um, blends with your skin tone, so it looks like your hairline. And then the most delicate part of the wig is right here where the monofilament is surged with the lace front. If you pull that apart, it's a real expensive oopsie because... Yeah, I mean, if it's just a little bit, a lot of times we can repair that for you. But for the most part, if you ruin the lace and that... that that seam right there, you pretty well ruined it because if you start putting a bunch of glue and all that, you're going to see through it. You do. It, it's crusty. and mm-hmm. Do the tabs make it difficult to tuck your hair behind your ear? Not for me. I always have to tuck mm-hmm. one side. There's my tab. And I wear, I mean, and that includes now the world of mask and glasses, which I wear both, uh, and I can tuck my hair. Yeah, so there's my tab. You're done. All right. Okay. Um, it's been a long time. Y'all hung with us a long time. We've been on here like 40 minutes. So oh we're going to so get much. off here. Hope everyone has a great week. And don't forget to use the coupon code through tonight. Vote 2020. That's 1159 Central Standard Time. Yes. And we have a couple giveaways um, coming up. So just if you want to be entered into that, you... It, Go on Facebook. This is all going to be through our Facebook group and our Facebook page. So um, just be watching for that. All right. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you next week. Bye.